हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक क्लासिकल रिपोर्ट्स एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी स्टडीड हाउ टू प्रोवाइड द फील्ड लेबल और कॉलम लेबल्स नाउ प्रोजेक्ट विल नेवर नेवर एक्सेप्ट योर कोड इफ यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग द लेबल्स लाइक दिस now we will go for a full explanation for the same we provided the labels column labels or field label in which particular language english language we'll go for a example suppose you are working in a project and the customer is working from two countries one is germany and one is us okay the customer who is operating in us run this particular program the customer who is in us is running this program perfectly fine customer is fully satisfied the labels are in english because the customer who is operating from us can easily easily understand the english language now same to same program the customer who is operating from germany now is running this program so what i will do firstly we will log in into german language i will go for username password now to log in into german de de is german now the customer who is operating from germany is running same to same program now the labels are appearing in which particular language english language now the customer who is operating from germany will simply say i am not able to understand english language the labels are in english language i am not able to understand then this data belongs to which particular column because the customer who is operating from germany may or may not able to understand english language it means the customer who is operating from germany label should appear in which particular language german language but we hard coded we hard coded the labels into which particular language english language so any customer who ever know who, who knows or who does not know english language the label label always appear in which particular language english language so project will never never accept this kind of code because we hard coded the labels into which particular language english language so we should never never hard code the labels into one particular language because every customer will not understand english language so what is the solution for the same how we have to give the column label field label or any text we should always always give the text using text symbols using text symbol this topic already covered previously but we will revise again what are text symbol text symbol is also also a data object we already covered what is data object data object is variable data object is constant data object is text symbol also we already covered text symbol is also a data object but we will never never declare text symbol in the program we will define as a part of text elements of the program i'll just go for the recap which we did previously in the previous videos if you remember in the previous programs okay 
we gave the block title using text symbols okay if you remember okay i will log it into english language so that we can understand fully i will log in into english language this is the program which we developed previously at that time if you remember we gave the block title using text symbol this is the text symbol if i will double click this is the value this is the text of this text symbol input values when i run this program you can see this input values is coming and from where and how we gave this particular text using text symbol so text symbol is also also a data object it hold the data it hold the value but we will never never declare in the program we declare the text symbol as a part of text element of the program text elements of the program anyways we will do the practical again you will understand fully now you should always always give the column label or field labels or text using that text symbol why why we should go for text symbol because we can translate a text into multiple languages so now what we will do for all these text for all these column label field label for all this text we will create text symbols text symbol so how to create text symbol you all know you have to go for go to text element and we will go for text symbol now you can understand fully why i told text symbol is not the part of the program it is a part of what text element it is a part of text element so we will go for text symbol it is a part of text elements now we all know every text symbol is three characters long three number which always varies from 000 to 999 so we will give that tag we will give that text using that text symbols so i will give 000 but 000 stands for order number 001 is order 8 002 payment mode 003 is currency Zero zero four will go for order item number. Will go for zero zero five is our item cost. So we created the text symbols for all these texts of the program. So we activated this particular text symbol. so what is the summary of the video in this video we covered one of the most important point from the coding perspective never never hard code a label into one language because if you will hard code a label into one language the program will always always give the text into that particular language only so rather than hard coding the text into one language always always use the text symbols to give the text why why we should go for text symbol because we can translate a text into multiple languages so whatever the log on language is there suppose customer is logging into german language at that time if that text is met if we are if we are using text symbol 
and the text is maintained into that language so that particular language text will be visible so never never hard code a text into one language so what are text symbols text symbol are also that data object they are holding that data they are holding the value if you see for this text symbol 001 what is the data or value order number what is the value for 001 text symbol it is order date so text symbols are data object itself but you are not declaring in the program you are declaring as a part of text elements of the program so we created six text symbols in the next video we will use these text symbols in the program we will translate and we will log in into german language and we will see is the translated text is visible or not visible so that's it in this video thank you